Hey everyone, welcome back to Quasar's Customs. I just got done doing a suspension job so I could reach level 12. Uh, I was can't tell you how happy I am to reach level 12. And now that I've reached level 12, I've got two available points. Um, guess what I'm going to do? I need to. I want to expand. So, yes, please. I want to unlock that. And then. Thinking, um, I want some faster installing and removing of parts. Help that out a little bit. All right, so I've finished up my two skill points, and look at my garage is expanded. Oh, I'm loving this. All right, level 12. Oh, and I get the ladder for level 12 too. Wow, maybe can I? Yes, I can look customize the garage. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that for another episode, I think. Yes, and sir. Oh, can I go to the junkyard? Level 12. <gasps> yes, I can go to the car auctions. No, the car auctions I can't, but the junkyard I can. Oh my. The junkyard is where I want to go and pick me up a shop truck, and it's gonna park right here. Yes, sir. Um, I had to reach level 12 because I wasn't getting. No matter what I was trying to do, I never got uh, another story mission. It looked like I had to progress up a level to get it. And, yep, voila, right here it is. Alright, we got a Catagirl Katsumato. Katsumato. Okay. I became a victim of a failure. The manufacturer claims that it's all my fault that the ABS pump has failed and the brakes are locked up. It all went downhill from there. I started sliding and got a few scratches on the car. The important bit is that I am okay. Look the car over and repair anything that's broken. I recon that aside from the brakes, I could use a new steering wheel. A new airbag would be a good idea too. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like they've had, ooh. Holy tamoli. What the heck? Yeah, you went down a hill, all right. Okay, so it looks like we're going to need a headlight, front bumper. Um, going to at least need a license plate as well. Said they wanted a new steering wheel. How's that steering wheel look? I don't know. All right. So, as always, there's no... Okay, they want us to drain the oil. Okay, that's fine. So, let's take care of the body parts first here. Uh, left headlight, bumper. I believe it needs a license plate on the front of this. Um, take a quick look. So... Cat girl. Cat girl. Cat girl. Is it? That's not how you spell it, right? No. Hmm. Oh, category. Okay. Category. Yeah. That's how to spell it. All right. Okay. So we get front bumper. We need right headlight, and I need a plate off the front of it. I don't think it matters what it is. We're just gonna throw on a plate. Because, I tell you what, license plates in this game get you every time. Alright. So we've got that all taken care of. What's underneath the hood here? Ooh. Ooh. Scary, scary. Alright. Um, some of this appears to be in really bad shape here. 
Uh, suspension wise back there looks like it might be pretty bad too. Let's see if I can find anything. That's, I have to I have to have it up on the rack, I guess. But this is some serious stuff here. Go ahead and remove those all out. Yeah, that was horrible. All right. Let's take care of the radiator and a couple of fans. Yeah, it's always looking pretty rough when you look underneath the hood and the radiator is in that bad of shape. Okay, so we need that, that, this, and the other thing. Get that sorted out. Get that taken care of. Alright. There's some bad stuff in there. I'm believing we could probably take it out to the test track. Give her a spin. Filter over in there looks okay. Alright. Quick look at the list here again. Took care of some of it already. Uh, ABS pump. Oh, let's take a look at that. Um, that doesn't... Oh, ABS pump. Oh, look at that. I would not have seen that down there. Alright. So, let's take care of that. And I'm suspecting because this is a brake, so it's probably a brake issue as well. Mm, those parts were... Oh yeah, they're in horrible shape. Horrible, horrible. Uh, brakes. These are expensive pieces here. get that in there yeah I would not have seen that underneath there come on you can do this successful from the engine bay what did I not do okay there we go all right let's get this leaf six little screws in there and I'll take care of that piece and I guess I'll take it out to again the test track and the suspension the test path and see what we have to see oh that start engine hmm interesting Let's start the engine. Alright, so... Why can't we start the engine? Oh, now this is, this is a pickle. I gotta figure out... Yeah, the exhaust manifold shot here. How are the wires? Oh, the ignition wires are in bad shape. Plugs are in bad shape. Now oh, look at that. We may get this whole list done. Let's see, how's the coil piece on here? Coil piece is in good shape, so... We'll stick that back on there. Alright, so I need at least... Need some spark plugs and wires. Is that a six owner? Oh man. Who knows? Wires. What do I need? Um Need I four wires. Uh, I four single overhead cam. Let's 
uh, I4. Huh. I just needed for the plug. See, wasted money. Wasted money. Okay, so I got all four. Of those. I know this exhaust manifold's in bad shape. The starter looks like it's in bad shape too, boy. Go ahead and yank that starter off. Um, there's a few pieces in here that look pretty bad to me, so let's go ahead and take the belts off. Water pump looks like it's in sad shape. Alternator looks like it's in sad shape. The oil pan looks like it's in horrible shape. Jeez. Um, alright. So let's see, first things first. Let's get the exhaust manifold. Uh -uh. Exhaust manifold for the single overhead cam. I need starter. Gotcha. Uh, needed a water pump. Uh, hmm. I4B, I4C, I think it was this one here? Yeah. Um, alternator. Um, yeah, which one was that? Oh, there's a regular uh, V8 alternator, so. Uh, belt. I4 single overhead cam. Yes. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. No, there's another one over here somewhere. Uh... Okay, I guess. <clears throat> Serpentine belt A. Oh, I wouldn't have gotten that. I was looking for the I-4. Serpentine belt A. And I'm replacing the belts just in case because I don't want to have to do this all over again. All right, exhaust manifold check. I'm not going to put the starter on right away. Put the water pump on. Belt. Alternator. Man, it looks a lot more. That looks a lot better down there, doesn't it? Okay. So um, let's move this to the. Let's move this to the first lift to the second lift. Uh, I can't believe I got my second lift. I'm very happy about that. Okay, so how much do I have left on this? Still got a few pieces. Um, well, let's start, I guess, as a... Can I get it to start now? Uh, it probably won't let me because I don't have some of these pieces on here. Um, yeah, I don't have the starter. Let me slap the starter on there real quick. And a shield. Yeah, it's in bad shape, but I'm just looking to see if it'll start now. Hey, got her to start. Cool. Alright. So, let me run it through the test path and 
through the test track real quick and I will be right back. All right, boys and girls, we're back from the test track and yes, we have a lot of issues. Um, looks like it's mainly the brakes up front, some gearbox issues. Um, so, not too terribly bad, it looks like. I am going to have to take care of a couple of things here. Let's go ahead and take the starter off because i got to replace the transmission. Alright. Might have to replace this exhaust pipe too. I have to check underneath. Can't really tell. Alright, so the brakes were bad. Oh, the tires look like it might be in bad shape here too. Okay, let's uh see the brakes are totally bad on this. Um everything there looks good. A couple of bad couple of bad bushings, not too too totally bad. Too terribly bad I should say. Everything else looks alright, yeah. Get in there. That wheel hub. Wheel hub looks alright. Alright. Um, so yeah, so things are looking okay in here. So cover. Alright. I'm thinking these tires are in bad shape though. Just by looking at them. We'll throw them over there, see what's happening with them. First, let's take care of the ads and the rims. Okay, the rest of that looks cope aesthetic. Yeah, the tires look like they're in bad shape. So, with the front wheel drive cars, these were this has always been a pain in my butt that out to take their drive axles out before you can get at the transmission um, and see it here the front drive shaft needs to be removed and you can get at the drive shaft or get at the uh, transmission that looks like that's horribly messed up that's messed up that's messed up much rust that's underneath this car. I'm surprised if it's even able to drive it in here. Okay, now look at, um, let's see, while I'm in here, how's this exhaust pipe? In bad shape, I thought. All right, so, take the exhaust pipe off. Oh, I've got to disconnect. Okay. Alright, gotta do the oil pan, but remember, um, gotta drain the oil out of it first. I drain the oil out of it, and I have to do, yeah, wasn't a whole lot in it, but, okay. Gotta get that exhaust pipe out, but I forgot to take the manifold off here. Early game going up and down, up and down. It's kind of crazy. Alright. So, that needs to go away. That needs to come off. Alright. Ooh. Let's see here. Okay, ride caps look alright. I thought they were looking kind of ugly. We're doing okay underneath here. Yep. I'm thinking so. Alright. So we're good there. Alright. Next thing is to check these tires out. These tires look like they're in pretty bad shape, so... Yes. As a matter of fact, they are. Let's rip these puppies off.
Jeez, one percent. Yikes, dude. Okay, so let's clear up my inventory a little bit here. Replace all that stuff. Replace that. Got a couple extra spark plugs. Replace the belts, the starter, the water pump. And I think we have everything we need right here. All right. Uh, tires. Uh, what are we running? Standard tires? Nope. Uh, Standard tires, 205, 45, 16s. So standard tires. The 16s or 15s? Jeez. I really need to start writing this stuff down. 16s, 205, 45s. So two of five forty fives. Two of them sixteen. Gotcha. Mount them up. And I need an I four gear box and some brakes. That uh, breaks need two of those, two of those, two of those, two of those, just to be on the safe side. All right, exhaust system. front exhaust section so I need the front exhaust section for that piece gearbox I need all these pieces here I need the flywheel and the i4 gearbox i4 gearbox for the engine I will need the oil pan and it will filter for the I-4. Uh, I-4, I-4B. Please the I-4. Playing a guessing game here. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, I think we needed a couple of rubber bushings, didn't we? Yes, we did. Thanks for telling me. Alright, so we get this transmission stuff all taken care of. Should be alright. Get this person on their way to whatever fun they're out to enjoy. I hope it's not going to give me a problem with the drive shaft and the drive axles being less than stellar. Uh, okay, I need to get a couple of rubber bushings. A couple of those. Thank you very much. And I believe it was the front ones. Yeah. Alright, front ones it is. An oil pan. So I'll stick those on underneath there. While I'm there. Alright. say I identified much, but uh, I thought I did. Okay, brake pads. Let's get this party started here. 
hoping this pretty much completes it. I put some oil in it. Uh, take a look at the fuel filter, I guess. Watch should be like two or three pieces I haven't found yet. Okay, so that's all in the front. You know, I didn't really think about the back. How's the back looking back there? Okay. Maybe not looking too bad. Um, I mean, looking at from both the test paths and everything, it seemed like everything back here was okay. Um, that looks okay. Alright, so what do we got here? Uh, exhaust manifold cover. Starter. Part not discovered, part not discovered. Part not discovered. So I've got three parts not discovered. Hmm. Alright. So yeah, didn't put that in. Oops. Put the new starter in. Uh, exhaust manifold cover. That definitely needs to be replaced. It looks like aluminum foil, you know. Stick some aluminum foil around it. Look like it. Make it look like it's new, right? Uh. Go ahead, put some oil in it. Ah, uh, some fresh oil. Okay. I did mention about putting a new steering wheel in here, so I don't know if that's the case. Let's take a look real quick. Uh, this is symbol of the steering wheel. Doesn't really say. Okay. So the steering wheel is a steering wheel one. Eh. I'll just go buy a new steering wheel one. Steering wheel one, where are you? Aha. 142 bucks for a steering wheel? Holy smokes. It doesn't even look that great. Alright. Paired body parts. Change the oil. What have I not found? Part not discovered, part not discovered. We got three parts not discovered. Hmm. Three parts not discovered. What could it be? What could it be? Wow, this is going to be tough. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Without knowing. Yeah, I've got everything replaced it. Uh... Back tires look bad? Well, there's three items, so. Got replaced. Well, I think the brakes would have showed up with that. Uh, hmm.
Uh, let's take the head off real quick, see what's underneath here. Yeah, it's just a few screws. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I think we have found our issues. Alright, so let's go ahead and take the belts off. Jeez. Ah, I gotta take the crankshaft pulley off. Well, at least it wasn't too, too bad of a deal. Yeah, that needs to be replaced. That needs to be replaced. Belt needs to be replaced. That needs to be replaced. Let's see if it'll let me scan that. Yep. Okay. Oh, we found our problem. Slight engine problem. Okay, shouldn't be too big of a deal. See, when you don't have the tools to work with, you gotta work, you gotta think with your head and try to work through it. Oops, missed one. Alright, so I need to clear out my inventory. This is not nearly as fast as it used to be. It used to be so much easier, so much better. Um, so I need camshaft, attention, and then cam gear. All right. Works for me. So let's see down here is the cam gear. Belt tensioner. And I need a camshaft for the I4 single overhead cam. Gotcha. And I think I just put oil in this beast, right? Yeah. Hope he gets a new camshaft. Not even looking at new camshaft bearings here. You know it's not going to last long. So I was saying earlier, I'm getting the new Alienware Aurora desktop in the next couple of days. And I'm actually super excited about it. Um, my desktop right now is a Dell XPS desktop and it's probably six years old. And it cannot run Car Mechanic Simulator. Um, it just, it just drains it. It just it's, it has a lot of stutter and just can't get anything to work on it. So, um, luckily enough, I had my laptop at the time. So, this was my primary car mechanic simulator gaming machine. And uh, now with the new one coming in, we're going to be a... Uh, Happy as a clam. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, looks like the Katagiri. Katagiri? Katasum. Katsumato. These, these names kill me. Looks like we are good. Alright. Very happy with this. Alright, let's finish it up. Alright. And that will be the end of my episode for today. Thank you all for uh, watching, and I'm really happy about having a little more room in my garage. Uh, maybe next episode we'll just do some cleaning up with the garage customization, and uh, maybe go look for the shop truck. Sound good? Sounds good to me. All right, this is Hearst Quasar, and I am out.